past few weeks, more than 300,000 Marylanders have filed for unemployment. But those who are self-employed say the process has been very difficult. Sean Stryker spoke to one woman who says she's running into roadblock after roadblock as she tries to get help. The newly passed CARES Act expands unemployment insurance to cover those who are self-employed and independent contractors. The problem is the state of Maryland is not yet set up to handle these types of claims. Jessica Durden is a professional makeup artist and certified eyelash technician. She started her business, Jesse D Creations, five years ago. It's a business that has been deemed non-essential during the COVID-19 pandemic. For about a month now, I have not received any income, I have not been able to work. The single mother relies on her business to support her and her daughter. She said she's applied for grants and loans, but keeps running into roadblocks. I have applied just hoping that I would still at least be able to receive some sort of aid, um, but one application, they're asking me for an unemployment insurance number, which I don't have because I don't have employees. Initially, she wouldn't have been eligible for unemployment benefits, but the CARES Act has expanded coverage. The problem is the state's system is not currently set up to process CARES Act claims. On top of that, her stimulus check has yet to arrive. So it just seems like a lot of running in circles, a lot of misinformation, a lot of inaccurate information, and it's frustrating. The Maryland Department of Labor is asking for patience as they work through this problem. Maryland has experienced a significant surge in the number of new claims being filed. This is not only happening in our state, it's happening across the nation. In just one week, the Department of Labor has received over 42,000 new unemployment insurance claims. I can see how they are working very, very hard to rectify this issue. However, I feel as though this should have been more so at the forefront. They should have been more proactive as opposed to reactive. Jessica says during these tough times, she's been able to lean on friends and family. The Department of Labor here in Maryland says they should have a new one stop application to handle these new types of claims by Friday. Sean Stryker for WJZ.